What if a phone call from beyond the grave could save your life or ruin it? Dive into the Phantom Callers, where spine-chilling true stories reveal mysterious texts, calls, and messages from the deceased. Are they warnings from the other side, or is something darker at play? Explore the terrifying phenomenon that blurs the line between the living and the dead. Listen now, if you dare, because the next call could be for you. Chapter 1 Calls from the Departed, Messages from Beyond the Grave There are few things more unsettling than receiving a phone call from someone who is no longer alive. For those who have experienced such phenomena, these calls often blur the line between reality and the supernatural. In this chapter, we explore documented cases where people have reported receiving phone calls or messages from loved ones who have recently passed away. These chilling encounters leave their recipients with a mixture of fear, disbelief, and sometimes, a strange sense of comfort. Are these incidents manifestations of grief, technological glitches, or evidence of communication from beyond the grave? One of the most well-known cases involving posthumous phone calls is that of Charles Peck, a passenger on a Metrolink commuter train that tragically collided with a freight train in Los Angeles in 2008. The crash resulted in the deaths of 25 people, including Peck. However, in the hours following the crash, something eerie occurred. Over the course of 11 hours, Peck's family members received a total of 35 calls from his cell phone. His fiancée parents and siblings were among those who received the calls, but every time they answered, they heard only static or silence on the other end. Desperate to find him, the family clung to the hope that he might still be alive. Rescue workers traced the signal and worked tirelessly to locate the source. Sadly, when they finally found his body, they determined he had died on impact, raising an unsettling question, who was making the calls? After his body was recovered, the calls stopped. Investigators were never able to explain how Peck's phone could have made those calls, or why they ceased so abruptly. The case of Charles Peck is not an isolated incident. Another famous case involves Jack Frost, who died suddenly from a heart arrhythmia in 2011, at the age of 32. Several months after his death, his close friend Tim Hart received a chilling email from Frost's account. The email subject was, I'm watching, and contained a message that referenced a conversation Hart and Frost had shortly before his death. In the email, Frost wrote, Did you hear me? I'm at your house. Clean your attic. Hart was shocked because only Frost knew about their attic conversation. Initially dismissing it as a cruel prank or a hack, Hart tried to trace the source, but nothing seemed out of place. Similar emails were also received by other friends, all containing personal and specific information only Frost would have known. While some believed it could be a hacker's cruel joke, others felt it was Frost himself reaching out from beyond the grave. Stories of calls from deceased loved ones have been reported worldwide, and the United Kingdom has its fair share of such cases. In 1993, a British woman named Brenda received a call from her recently deceased mother. The call came late at night, and as she answered the phone, she immediately recognized her mother's voice. She described the conversation as clear and direct. I just wanted to tell you that I'm okay, her mother said. Brenda was stunned, knowing her mother had died just a week earlier. The phone call ended abruptly, and when Brenda tried to call back, she was met with an operator message, stating the number was disconnected. Later, a medium suggested that her mother wanted to offer closure and reassurance, a theory Brenda found comfort in. Such stories are surprisingly common, with other accounts across the UK recounting similar experiences of the deceased, calling to check on their loved ones, offer guidance, or provide comfort. In India, a more recent case in 2019 also raised eyebrows and left investigators puzzled. A woman named Sunita Sharma received a call from her husband's number two days after he died in a car accident. When she answered, all she could hear was his voice repeating her name over and over again, followed by a period of silence. Terrified, she hung up the phone. The next day, she received a text message from the same number that read, I am fine, don't worry. Panicked, she went to the local police station, where officers verified that the number was indeed her deceased husband's, but there was no rational explanation for the calls or texts. After a few days, the calls and messages ceased entirely, leaving the family with more questions than answers. 
Such occurrences are not limited to specific cultures or regions, they span the globe, suggesting a more universal phenomenon. In some cases, the deceased appear to want to convey messages of love and closure. For example, a story out of Japan involves a young man who received a call from his deceased sister just days after she had died in a car accident. The call came at night and he described hearing her voice, calm and serene, saying, I am at peace. I love you all. When he tried to speak, the call disconnected, leaving him in tears. The call, he said, brought his family some peace, knowing she was in a better place. The phone number was later found to be inactive, adding to the mystery. Theories about these strange occurrences vary widely. Some skeptics argue that these calls are mere technological glitches or pranks, designed to exploit the grief of those who have lost someone close. With modern technology, it is certainly possible to spoof phone numbers or hack into accounts to send fake messages. However, in many of these cases, the specific details or deeply personal content of the messages make such explanations feel inadequate. Others believe that grief itself could play a role in these phenomena. Grief can sometimes lead to auditory or visual hallucinations, a psychological response to intense emotional distress. However, this does not explain how several people could experience the same phenomenon such as multiple family members receiving calls from a deceased loved one's phone. Then there are those who argue for a more paranormal explanation. They believe that these phone calls are genuine attempts by the deceased to communicate with the living. In some cultures, it is believed that the spirits of the recently deceased remain close to their loved ones for a period after death and may try to contact them through familiar means, such as the telephone. Regardless of the explanation, these stories share a common theme of emotional impact. Whether they bring fear, comfort, or confusion, these calls from the departed continue to challenge our understanding of life, death, and the thin veil that separates the two. Are these genuine messages from beyond, technological anomalies, or something else entirely? The answer may never be fully understood, but the experiences of those who have received these phantom calls suggest that there may be more to our reality than meets the eye. Chapter 2 Warning Calls, Premonitions of Danger Throughout history, there have been eerie stories of mysterious phone calls or messages that seem to serve as premonitions, warnings of impending danger, death, or disaster. These unsettling occurrences have been documented worldwide, where recipients have received phone calls or texts that predict future events, sometimes saving lives or preventing catastrophes. In this chapter, we delve into some of the most chilling cases of warning calls, exploring the thin line between coincidence and the supernatural, and whether these communications come from an otherworldly source or are simply uncanny coincidences. One of the most baffling cases of a warning call involves an American man named David Sims, who lived in Chicago. In 1979, David received a phone call from an unregistered number while at work. The voice on the other end, deep and unfamiliar, simply said, do not get on flight 191 tomorrow. Initially, he thought it was a prank, but the strange certainty in the voice made him uneasy. David had planned to fly to Los Angeles the next day on American Airlines Flight 191, but the call prompted him to reconsider. On a whim, he decided to book a different flight. The next day, Flight 191 crashed shortly after takeoff, killing all 271 people on board. The tragedy, became one of the deadliest aviation accidents in U.S. history. Despite his efforts to trace the call, David never discovered the identity of the mysterious caller. He often wondered if he had been saved by a guardian angel, or if someone with foreknowledge of the disaster had reached out to him. This case is not isolated, similar incidents have occurred around the world, often involving phone calls that seemingly come from nowhere to warn of danger. In 2004, a woman in Kent, England, reported receiving a call from a blocked number. The voice on the line, which she described as calm but urgent, said, Beware of water tomorrow. She dismissed the call as nonsense, but the next day, a heavy rainstorm hit her town, causing severe flooding. Her house was inundated, causing thousands of pounds in damage. She later recalled the call with a sense of dread and wonder, questioning if the mysterious caller had genuinely tried to warn her about the upcoming disaster. 
Another well-documented case comes from Japan during the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami. Several survivors reported receiving calls from unknown numbers just minutes before the tsunami hit. One woman living in Sendai received a call from an unlisted number with a single word message, run. She described the voice as soft, almost mechanical, but insistent. She heeded the warning and moved to higher ground, just in time to avoid the devastating wave that swept through her town. After the catastrophe, she attempted to trace the number, but it led nowhere, and no one could explain how the call had been made or who might have been behind it. The incident left her with a deep sense of unease about the thin veil separating the known and the unknown. In some cases, these warning calls have been attributed to deceased loved ones, as if they were reaching out from beyond to protect the living. A chilling story from India tells of a young man named Raj Patel. In 2018, he was planning to attend a wedding in another city when he received a call from his grandmother's number. His grandmother had died two years earlier, and her phone number had long since been disconnected. Startled, he answered the call, and a distorted, echoing voice said, Do not go. Stay home. Shocked, Raj decided not to go to the wedding, making an excuse to his friends and family. That evening, the bus he had originally planned to take met with a fatal accident, killing several passengers. Raj firmly believed it was his grandmother reaching out to save him. Despite attempts to understand how a disconnected number could have called him, he never found a satisfactory explanation. Sometimes, these warning calls involve not only danger, but the suggestion of supernatural intervention. In Russia, a woman named Ekaterina Popova reported an unusual experience in 2015. She had been dealing with a series of troubling events, a car accident, a burglary, and a sudden illness in the family. One night she received a call from an unknown number, and a deep voice warned her to stay away from crossroads. Though bewildered, she avoided a well-known shortcut the next morning that passed through a series of intersections. Later, she learned that a deadly multi-car accident had occurred at that very spot around the same time she would have been driving through it. She attributed the call to a protective force, perhaps even her guardian angel. While skeptical friends and family suggested it was pure coincidence, she remained convinced that the call had been a divine intervention. In some instances, these premonition calls also involve unexplainable technical phenomena. One such case occurred in France in 2009 when a woman named Marie Dubois received a series of texts from an unknown number, warning her of a specific date and location, advising her to avoid all unnecessary risks. Marie, curious but skeptical, followed the advice and chose to stay home that day, cancelling plans to attend a festival in her town. Tragically, the event turned into chaos when a fire broke out, causing several casualties. When she attempted to trace the origin of the texts, the number was found to be invalid. Strangely, the texts vanished from her phone within days, leaving no digital trace. The police were baffled, and no one was ever able to explain how such messages could have been sent from a non-existent number. These cases raise questions that challenge our understanding of the natural and the supernatural. Are these warning calls truly messages from beyond, reaching out to protect or guide us? Or are they just eerie coincidences, amplified by our need to find meaning in random events? Some experts suggest that these could be psychological phenomena, where the brain, in a state of heightened anxiety or stress, creates the illusion of a voice or message. This theory, while comforting to some skeptics, falls short when multiple people report receiving the same call or when the predictions come startlingly true. Another possible explanation involves the idea of time slips or temporal anomalies, where information might be exchanged across different points in time. Though purely speculative and grounded more in science fiction than science, this theory has its proponents among those who believe that reality is far more complex than it appears. Whatever the explanation, these warning calls serve as powerful reminders of the mysteries that surround us. They push us to consider the boundaries of human experience and the possibility that some forces, beyond our current understanding, might be at work. They compel us to confront the idea that there could be more to reality than meets the eye, and perhaps, in the face of danger, something or someone might just be looking out for us.
Chapter 3, The Stranger on the Line, Unknown Voices with a Message There is a unique terror in receiving a phone call from an unknown person who seems to know far too much about your life, details only someone close to you would know, or even more chillingly, things about your future that no one could possibly predict. These unnerving encounters have been reported around the globe, where recipients are contacted by strangers who provide information that is unsettling, precise, and often inexplicable. This chapter explores cases where people received mysterious phone calls from unknown voices with messages that would forever change their lives. One of the most infamous cases of an unknown caller with an uncanny knowledge of personal details comes from Ohio, USA. In 1994, the Dixon family began receiving strange phone calls from a blocked number. The caller, who never identified himself, seemed to know everything about their daily lives, their routines, their conversations, even the layout of their home. The voice was calm but disconcertingly precise, making comments like, How did the birthday party go yesterday? I hope Lily enjoyed her cake. The family was terrified. Lily was their seven-year-old daughter, and the party had been a private affair, only attended by close friends and family. The calls continued for weeks, always with the same calm voice and detailed comments about their lives, until the family moved to another house. Remarkably, the calls stopped after they relocated, but the fear of being watched or stalked never left them. A similar case occurred in Sweden in 2012, involving a woman named Ellen Anderson. She began receiving strange calls from an unlisted number late at night. The voice on the other end was that of a man she did not recognize, but he spoke to her as if they were close. He mentioned personal facts about her life that only someone close to her would know, where she worked, the name of her pet cat, even the time she usually returned home. One night, he warned her to watch out for the color red. She was disturbed and hung up. The next day, while crossing the street, she narrowly avoided being hit by a red car that ran a red light. Ellen was convinced the call was a warning, but she was haunted by who the caller could have been, and how he knew so much about her. In Australia, another strange series of calls left a family in fear. In 2007, the Matthews family received repeated calls from an anonymous caller who seemed to know the details of a long-lost family member. The caller, speaking in a low, raspy voice, asked them to contact a relative who had been out of touch for over two decades. At first, they ignored the calls, dismissing them as a prank. But when the caller began giving specific details about the relative, details that only close family members would know, they were alarmed. The most chilling call came on a night when the caller said, she needs you. She doesn't have much time. Feeling both disturbed and concerned, the family attempted to reach out to the long-lost relative, only to discover she was gravely ill and had been trying to contact them. The timing of the calls was too precise to be mere coincidence leaving the Matthews family to wonder about the identity and motives of the mysterious caller. In some cases, the mysterious calls seem to involve not only unknown voices, but also voices with distorted or mechanical qualities, adding another layer of creepiness to these encounters. In South Korea, a man named Jin Ho Lee reported a terrifying experience in 2016. He received a call from an unknown number late at night. The voice on the line was distorted, almost robotic, but it was clear enough to deliver a chilling message, you will suffer a great loss. Startled, Jin Ho hung up, dismissing it as a prank. The very next day, his apartment caught fire due to an electrical fault. He lost nearly all his possessions. When he tried to call the number back, he found it was disconnected. The precision of the prediction and the eerie, distorted voice haunted him long after the incident. Other stories involve calls that seem to transcend time and reality. In Italy, in 2004, a man named Marco Vitali began receiving bizarre calls from a woman who identified herself as Anna. She spoke in a friendly tone, often asking him how he was doing or commenting on the weather. Marco did not know anyone named Anna, and when he asked how she got his number, she would only laugh and say, we have known each other for a long time. The strangest call came one evening when she said, I hope you have a great time in Rome tomorrow. Marco was shocked, he had not told anyone about his last-minute decision to travel to Rome. When he pressed her for details, the call disconnected. The next day, while in Rome, Marco received another call from Anna, 
but this time the voice sounded distant and echoed as if coming from a great distance. She warned him to avoid the street near his hotel that evening. He did as told, only to find out later that a violent robbery had occurred there around the same time he would have been passing by. Unable to trace the calls and increasingly disturbed, Marco later tried to find out if any known person named Anna might be associated with his life or past, but he never succeeded. The calls eventually stopped, but he remained haunted by the question of who or what had been contacting him. In many cases, the anonymity of these callers and the specificity of the information they provide point to a deliberate attempt to manipulate or terrorize. However, when the calls involve accurate foreknowledge of events, they defy rational explanation. Could these unknown callers be entities from another realm, possessing knowledge beyond our understanding? Or are they human beings with an inexplicable ability to access private or future information? Experts and skeptics often suggest more mundane explanations, such as phone number spoofing, social engineering tactics, or elaborate pranks. Yet, such explanations fail to account for the level of detail, timing, and the eerie accuracy of the information provided in many of these cases. Some have posited the existence of a form of psychic phenomena, where sensitive individuals might be able to tap into information fields that defy conventional understanding. Others believe these occurrences may involve something more sinister, perhaps entities or forces that exist outside our conventional understanding of reality. Chapter 4 Voices from the Future Calls from Ourselves The idea of receiving a phone call or message from one's future self seems like the plot of a science fiction movie. However, there are documented cases where people have reported receiving such bizarre calls, communications that defy all known laws of physics and logic. These stories are both unsettling and thought-provoking, suggesting a reality where time is not as linear as we perceive it. In this chapter, we explore cases where individuals have received calls or messages from what appeared to be their future selves, often delivering cryptic warnings or life-saving guidance. One of the most famous cases of this phenomenon is known as the time slip calls, reported in the United States during the early 2000s. A woman named Anna Robinson began receiving calls from an unknown number that she initially dismissed as a prank. The voice on the other end was calm, but strangely familiar, with a slight echo as if coming from a great distance. The caller spoke as if they were an older version of Anna, addressing her by name, and recounting memories that only she would know. Remember the day you almost drowned in Lake George? The caller said in one instance, which was a private memory Anna had never shared with anyone. In another call, the voice warned, do not take the highway on Friday. Take the long route. Feeling unsettled but intrigued, Anna took the advice, only to learn later that there had been a massive pile up on the highway that day. She tried to trace the calls back but always ended up with dead ends, no number, no record, just a mystery that left her questioning the nature of time and reality. A similar story comes from New Zealand, where a woman named Sophie Turner experienced a chilling event in 2014. Sophie was at home one afternoon, when her cell phone rang with her own number displayed on the caller ID. Confused, she answered the call and heard her own voice on the other end, albeit slightly older and more mature sounding. The voice urgently whispered, do not go on the trip to Wellington next week. Before Sophie could ask any questions, the call disconnected. Skeptical yet disturbed, Sophie decided to heed the warning. That same week, the bus she would have taken to Wellington skidded off the road in bad weather, resulting in multiple injuries and fatalities. Shocked by the accuracy of the warning, Sophie sought explanations, ranging from a technical glitch to some elaborate hoax. However, the personal nature of the call, Hearing her own voice with details only she could know, left her convinced that she had somehow been warned by a future version of herself. In another baffling case from Germany, a man named Lars Muller reported a strange occurrence in 2018. He was on his way to work when he received a call from an unknown number. The voice on the line sounded exactly like his own, though deeper and more weary. Lars, the voice said, you need to leave your job before the end of this month. It will save you. Lars was shaken but decided to ignore it, thinking it was a prank. 
but the calls continued over the next week, each time more insistent. Finally, after much contemplation, Lars decided to resign from his job. A month later, the company he worked for went bankrupt under a scandal involving illegal activities, and many of his colleagues faced legal action and unemployment. Lars had narrowly escaped being entangled in the crisis. He tried contacting the number that had warned him, but it was no longer in service. The unsettling thought that his future self had tried to reach out and warn him haunted him for years. These stories raise a series of perplexing questions. Could it be possible to receive a call from one's future self? And if so, how does it work? One theory is that these calls represent a form of temporal anomaly, where time loops or bends, allowing information from the future to be transmitted to the present. This theory, although speculative, is supported by some proponents of quantum physics who argue that time may not be as linear as we perceive it. The phenomenon of retrocausality, where future events can influence the past, has been a topic of debate in scientific circles, but there is still no concrete evidence to explain these occurrences. Another theory revolves around the concept of psychic phenomena. Some believe that these calls are manifestations of the mind's ability to perceive future events, which somehow translate into tangible experiences like phone calls. The brain, under certain conditions, might be capable of tapping into future timelines or parallel realities, resulting in these bizarre and unsettling encounters. While these ideas remain firmly in the realm of the paranormal, they offer a fascinating lens through which to view these extraordinary stories. In some cases, the calls have not only predicted future events, but have also provided advice that fundamentally altered the course of someone's life. In Canada in 2006, a man named Greg Foster reported receiving a call from a number he did not recognize. The voice on the other end, unmistakably his own, instructed him to invest in renewable energy stocks. Greg, a skeptic by nature, initially laughed it off as a prank. However, curiosity got the better of him, and he decided to make a small investment in a few renewable energy companies. Over the next decade, those investments grew substantially, providing him with a level of financial security he had never imagined. He attempted to trace the number several times, but like so many other cases, it led to a dead end. The strange and almost prophetic nature of the call left Greg questioning whether he had somehow received advice from his future self. In a notable case from Brazil in 2019, a young woman named Isabella Ferreira received a series of calls from a number that displayed her own name and number. When she answered, she heard a voice that was unmistakably hers but more mature, warning her to avoid a specific neighborhood where she often went jogging. Isabella was frightened, but ignored the warning initially. However, after receiving the same call three more times with increasing urgency, she decided to change her jogging route. A week later, she learned that a violent mugging had taken place in the area she had avoided, and she narrowly escaped a dangerous situation. She never received another call after that, leaving her to wonder if she had somehow been saved by a future version of herself. These cases, though rare and difficult to verify through conventional means, suggest a reality where time might be more fluid than we currently understand. Are these calls evidence of a phenomenon we have yet to comprehend, or are they clever hoaxes, tricks of the mind, or something else entirely? While no definitive answers exist, the consistency of these stories across different cultures, locations, and times points to a phenomenon that warrants further exploration. Chapter 5 The Persistent Callers, Haunted by the Dead There are few things more unsettling than receiving phone calls from the deceased, especially when they don't stop. While many stories of ghostly phone calls describe one-off events, a subset of these cases involves persistent callers, where the dead seem determined to keep communicating. These cases go beyond mere coincidence or technical glitch, suggesting something far more mysterious at play. In this chapter, we explore stories where people have been repeatedly contacted by deceased individuals, creating a pattern of haunting communication that defies rational explanation. One of the most unnerving cases comes from Australia, involving the Harris family in the late 1990s. After the death of the family patriarch, John Harris, the family started receiving nightly phone calls from his old number. 
John had passed away suddenly from a heart attack, and his phone number was quickly disconnected. Yet within a week, the calls began. At first, there was only static on the other end, but the number calling them was unmistakably John's. The calls came at the same time every night, 11.47 p.m. without fail. Desperate for answers, the family contacted the phone company, which confirmed the number was no longer in service. An investigation revealed nothing unusual, yet the calls continued. After months of this nightly disturbance, the family decided to destroy John's old phone, and only then did the calls stop. The experience left them questioning if John was truly trying to reach out, or if something else had taken his place. Another chilling case is that of Diane Fraser from Scotland in 2002. Diane's daughter Ellen had tragically died in a car accident. A week after her funeral, Diane began receiving calls from Ellen's cell phone. At first, she thought it might be someone playing a cruel prank, but when she answered, she was met with nothing but silence or faint static. The calls became more frequent, always late at night, and Diane became convinced it was Ellen trying to communicate. The most disturbing call came on what would have been Ellen's 22nd birthday. When Diane answered, she heard a faint familiar whisper, Mom, it's okay. Diane was overcome with emotion, recognizing her daughter's voice. The calls continued sporadically for several years, often around significant dates, like Ellen's birthday or the anniversary of her death. Eventually, they stopped, but not before leaving an indelible mark on Diane, who believed her daughter was reaching out to offer comfort. In Tokyo, Japan, a particularly eerie case from 2011 involved a man named Kenji Tanaka, whose wife, Aiko, passed away after a long battle with cancer. Aiko's phone number was disconnected shortly after her death, but Kenji began receiving calls from her number on the anniversary of her death each year. When he answered, he would hear only soft breathing and occasionally a faint melody, their wedding song. The calls would last only a few seconds and then disconnect. Initially, he thought it was someone playing a cruel joke, but the precision with which the calls were timed, always at 3.15 p.m., the exact time of her passing, led him to believe otherwise. He tried changing his number, but the calls persisted, always on the anniversary of her death. After consulting a spiritual medium, he came to believe it was his wife, trying to comfort him, letting him know she was still with him in spirit. Whether driven by grief or something otherworldly, Kenji began to welcome the calls as a sign of her enduring love. Cases of persistent callers are not limited to family members. Sometimes they involve unknown individuals or even strangers who seem to haunt the living with repeated calls. In Ohio, USA in 2009, a woman named Melissa Carter began receiving calls from an unfamiliar number. The calls came almost daily and when she answered she would hear a male voice saying, please help me, followed by a loud crackling sound. Melissa tried to dismiss the calls as a prank, but felt increasingly uneasy. After weeks of this, she decided to investigate. She traced the number to a man who had gone missing five years earlier, whose phone was disconnected shortly after he disappeared. The calls continued for another month and then abruptly stopped. Melissa was left with a chilling mystery. Was it the missing man trying to reach out from wherever he was or was someone or something using his voice? Sometimes the persistence of these calls has a clear message or intent. A notable case from London, England in 1996 involved a man named Richard Walters, who received daily calls from his deceased brother, James. James had died suddenly in a workplace accident, and Richard was devastated by his loss. The calls started a month after James's death, always around 9 p.m., the time James used to call Richard to chat after work. At first, Richard thought it was someone's sick idea of a joke, but after answering several of these calls, he started to hear a familiar phrase whispered, Forgive me, Rich. His brother had often used this phrase when they argued. These calls continued for months, always ending after the whisper, leaving Richard feeling both haunted and comforted by the familiarity. A psychic medium later suggested that James was trying to seek forgiveness and find peace in the afterlife. After a tearful conversation where Richard spoke out loud to his brother, forgiving him and expressing love, the calls mysteriously stopped, leaving him to wonder if he had indeed helped his brother find peace. In other cases, the persistence of calls is so relentless that it drives the recipients to desperation. 
In Brazil, in 2015, a young couple, Mateo and Ana Costa, reported receiving calls from an unknown number multiple times a day for over a year. The caller would only say a single word, beware, in a chilling monotone. They initially thought it was a prank, but when Anna started experiencing vivid nightmares about a shadowy figure watching them, they became genuinely afraid. They tried changing their numbers, but the calls continued. Desperate, they contacted a local spiritual healer who suggested a cleansing ritual to ward off malevolent spirits. After the ritual, the calls stopped, but the experience left them deeply shaken, believing they had narrowly avoided some unknown danger. These stories of persistent callers suggest that some entities, whether spirits of the deceased or unknown forces, are determined to make contact and keep doing so until a message is delivered, closure is achieved, or some other purpose is fulfilled. Experts in paranormal phenomena suggest these repeated communications may be a way for spirits to seek resolution, comfort loved ones, or warn of impending danger. Others argue these are mere coincidences or psychological manifestations of grief and fear, amplified by the human mind's tendency to seek patterns and meanings. While skepticism remains, the experiences of those who have been haunted by persistent callers are undeniably powerful and life-altering. Whether these are true paranormal events, pranks, or psychological phenomena, they continue to raise unsettling questions about what happens after death and whether the living can truly be contacted by the dead. As technology continues to evolve, the line between the natural and the supernatural may blur further, but these stories remind us that sometimes, the dead don't rest so easily, and they might just keep calling until we listen. Chapter 6 The Phantom Texts, Digital Messages from the Beyond As technology evolves, so do the ways in which the unexplained manifests itself. While eerie phone calls from the dead have a long history, more recent years have seen an unsettling rise in reports of ghostly text messages and digital communications. These messages often come from phones that have long been deactivated, accounts that have been deleted, or even devices that were buried with their owners. In this chapter, we delve into real-life cases where people have received texts and digital messages from deceased individuals, leaving them baffled, terrified, and questioning the boundaries between the digital and the supernatural worlds. One of the most famous cases of phantom texts involves a British woman named Sherry Emerson, who received a chilling message from her deceased grandmother's phone. Sherry's grandmother, Leslie Emerson, had died three years earlier, and her family decided to bury her with her favorite mobile phone as a sentimental gesture. After her death, the number was disconnected, and the family never expected to hear from it again. However, in 2014, Sherry received a text message from her grandmother's number that read, I'm watching over you. You'll get through this. You'll be all right. Sherry was horrified and believed someone was playing a sick joke. When the family investigated, they discovered that the number had been reassigned to a new user who had no idea of its history. The new owner, upon hearing the story, claimed to have sent the message randomly but the words felt eerily appropriate to Sherry, almost as if her grandmother had indeed reached out from beyond the grave to offer comfort. In another bizarre case from New York, USA, a man named Scott Greeley reported receiving multiple text messages from his deceased friend, Mark, months after Mark had passed away in a car accident. The texts contained seemingly random messages like, just checking in and are you okay? At first, Scott thought someone had hacked into Mark's phone, or that it had been resold without the data being wiped. However, the messages continued, often containing personal phrases and jokes that only Scott and Mark would understand. In one text, Mark's phone even mentioned an inside joke about a camping trip they had taken years before. Scott reached out to Mark's family, who confirmed the phone had been destroyed in the accident. The phone company was unable to explain how the messages could be sent from a non-existent device. For Scott, the mystery remained, was his friend trying to make contact or was something else manipulating his grief? Across the globe, similar incidents have been reported, leaving recipients bewildered. In Toronto, Canada, in 2017, a young woman named Maria Rodriguez began receiving strange text messages from her late mother's phone number. Her mother had died a year earlier, and the phone service had been disconnected. The messages began innocently enough, with simple, I love you, 
and I miss you texts. But as time went on, the messages became more detailed, referencing recent events in Maria's life that only her mother would have known about, like her new job and the color she had painted her room. The specificity of the messages sent chills down Maria's spine. She initially thought it might be a well-meaning friend or relative, but everyone denied any involvement. An investigation by the phone company led nowhere, and no one could explain how the messages were coming through. Maria's friends suggested it could be her mother's way of showing she was still watching over her, but the experience left her both comforted and deeply unsettled. A more disturbing case occurred in South Africa in 2019, involving a group of friends who began receiving group messages from a deceased friend, David Nkosi. David had died in a hiking accident a few months earlier, and his phone had been lost in the wilderness and never recovered. The group chat, however, remained active, with members occasionally posting messages in remembrance of their lost friend. One evening, a message came through from David's account, It's cold here. Where are you guys? The friends initially assumed it was a cruel prank, but further messages came through in David's voice, using phrases and language he commonly used, even referencing moments that had happened after his death. Disturbed, the friends tried to trace the source, but the number was still registered as inactive, with no sign of hacking or manipulation. The incident left them haunted by the idea that David was reaching out from the other side, or that something was impersonating him. Phantom digital messages are not limited to texts alone. Cases of eerie emails have also been documented. In 2011, a man named Frank Jones from London, England began receiving emails from his deceased wife, Alice, who had passed away from cancer a year prior. The emails contained mundane messages like, don't forget the milk, or did you feed the cat, things she would typically have said in life. Initially, Frank thought it might be a hacker who had gained access to Alice's account. However, after resetting passwords and changing security settings multiple times, the emails continued to come from her address. One email in particular sent chills down his spine, I'm here with you watching you. Love always, Alice. Frank had never spoken to anyone about his habit of speaking to Alice's photograph as if she were still with him. The email stopped after he publicly shared his story, but the question remained, was it a glitch, a prank, or was Alice somehow reaching out to him from beyond? These stories challenge the conventional understanding of both technology and the afterlife. Skeptics often suggest that such messages are the result of phone number recycling, hacking, or glitches within communication networks. While these explanations are plausible in some cases, they fail to account for the personal and precise nature of many messages, which contain details known only to the deceased and their loved ones. The phenomenon of phantom texts and digital messages from the dead raises unsettling questions. Could our digital devices somehow become conduits for the spirits of the deceased? Could there be unknown forces manipulating these technologies to mimic the dead? Or is it possible that these are manifestations of collective grief, our minds projecting the messages we long to hear? Chapter 7 The Unsolved Phenomenon Theories and Explanations The eerie accounts of unexplained phone calls, texts, and digital messages from beyond the grave leave us grappling with a fundamental question what exactly is happening? Are these phenomena mere coincidences, psychological projections, technological anomalies, or genuine attempts by the deceased to communicate with the living? This chapter delves into various theories that attempt to explain these unsettling occurrences, each offering a unique perspective but leaving us without definitive answers. The most straightforward explanation is rooted in technology. Glitches in phone networks, number recycling, and caller ID spoofing can sometimes result in people receiving calls or texts that appear to come from a deceased person. For instance, phone numbers that have been disconnected are often reassigned to new users, leading to confusing or alarming situations. Similarly, caller ID spoofing, a tactic used by scammers, can make a call appear as if it's coming from any number, even one that belonged to someone who has passed away. While these technical explanations can account for some incidents, they fall short in cases where the messages contain highly specific, personal information that only the deceased would know. Moreover, how can they explain messages or calls that seem to predict future events, 
such as warnings to avoid specific places or situations. These cases suggest something more than a simple technological anomaly. Psychology provides another lens through which to understand these phenomena. It is well known that grief can deeply affect the mind, sometimes leading to auditory or visual hallucinations. Under extreme emotional stress, people may hear or see things that help them cope with their loss. Apophenia, the tendency to perceive meaningful connections in random patterns, could also explain why someone might interpret a random call or text as a sign from the deceased. However, Psychological theories often fall apart in cases where multiple people experience the same phenomenon or when the messages contain unknown future information. While the mind's capacity to project is vast, it is unlikely to explain all documented cases, particularly those involving accurate predictions or details unknown to the recipient. The idea that the deceased can communicate through electronic devices is a popular belief in paranormal circles. Theories like electronic voice phenomena, EVP, or instrumental transcommunication, ITC, suggest that spirits can manipulate electronic devices to convey messages. Some believe that spirits use phones, emails, or texts to offer comfort, warnings, or seek closure. While this theory resonates with those who have experienced these phenomena, it remains controversial. Skeptics argue that such beliefs lack empirical evidence and are based more on personal interpretation and anecdote than verifiable facts. Some suggest that these phenomena could involve time slips or alternate realities, where time is not linear but fluid. This idea, supported by some interpretations of quantum physics, posits that different timelines or dimensions occasionally intersect, allowing for the transfer of information across time or realities. This theory is highly speculative but intriguing, especially in cases where people receive calls or texts from their future selves or those with premonitions that come true. While no single theory can explain all these cases, the convergence of technological, psychological, paranormal and metaphysical possibilities suggests that these events lie at the intersection of multiple realities, those we know and those we don't yet understand. As technology and our understanding of the mind and universe evolve, these mysteries will continue to challenge our perception of life, death, and the unknown. Have you had any such experience? Let us know.